<laughs> I'm guessing that's exactly like the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, sure. Why not? I never saw the Equalizer in the '80s. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. Full disclosure. I've I've I know of the show. Um, when it was like announced, Denzel Washington playing the Equalizer. Yeah, I I remember the name. I remember the name of that show. So I was like, okay, so they're making a movie version of the Equalizer. I've never seen an episode of the Equalizer. I know it's Edward Woodward. Perhaps maybe there are scenes in that show of Edward of old British Edward Edward Woodward <laughs> shoving a shot glass into a guy's eye yeah. and hanging a guy with barbed with wire, barbed wire, and taking on the entire Russian mob and you, drilling a hole in the back of a guy's head and <laughs> kind of get behind this TV show. Well, I'm, if he's doing if he's shit, doing like, shit like, like that, yeah. <laughs> if it's Edward Woodward doing that, I, I, I have no, this, look, I, I don't know. I don't know how accurate this is to the <laughs> no television series. Um, this sort of screams to me like, Not I even could, close. Well, it screams to me like they had a generic script laying around and they happened to have the rights to use the title The Equalizer. So, hey, let's slap The Equalizer on this movie. <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe there's some things about, like, the stopwatch thing he does or the mild OCD he kind of has in the movie. Or maybe he helps hookers out in their times of distress <laughs> and sits in restaurants reading the old man oh, this I could picture but the old man in the sea yeah. yeah reading old man in the sea and shit like that and you know uh shoving fucking jarts in people's necks and shit <laughs> for all I know this is crazy accurate <laughs> I hope it is but I doubt it no. <laughs> um the this was a pretty long set uh this isn't a it's not a bad movie. It's wildly <laughs> generic. <laughs> yeah. You've all seen this movie You've before. seen it so many times before. You've seen the movie before. Um, 20 years ago, and this movie starred Jean-Claude Van Damme, maybe I would have been fine because I wouldn't probably wouldn't have seen a bajillion movies like this and done better than this. It's, there's a guy, he's mysterious, he has a shady past, and he makes friends with somebody. The friend is a hooker. He makes friends with Bianca from Midnight Heat, basically, in this movie. <laughs> if Bianca from Midnight Heat was also Russian. <laughs> was Chloe Moretz supposed to be Russian in this yeah. movie? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if she's doing a Russian accent in that movie, I'm doing a Russian accent right now. <laughs> So, he makes friends with her, she gets beaten up, he goes to take care of the guys who beat her up by murdering all of them, and that one thing leads to another, the entire Russian mafia and Boston corrupt cops, and which links to corrupt senators and shit, are all after him. You've seen this movie. I can name you several movies you should probably watch other than this. Stay home and watch The Professional. Stay home and watch... Uh, <sighs> hell, just stay home and watch fucking, like, Safe with Jason Statham or something like that. The movie is... It's well made. And, I, yeah, I'll give it that. I mean, it's 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 well made. Antoine Fuqua is a good director. Uh, Denzel is fine. Again, you've seen him play this part in better movies like man man on fire is a much better movie than this mm -hmm. uh it certainly earns its r it has gr yeah pretty graphic <laughs> yeah. violence it earned its r i was happy about that like the shot glass through the eye that was fun yeah i mean i'll give it to denzel he does stick to some pretty hardcore action movies this isn't one of his better ones it's not no. bad it just never ever ever rises above generic that, that said, it didn't do anything that really pissed me off, but a lot of good acting and good direction and good choreography was spent on something that, on something that I'd just rather be hanging out at home and watching from Steven Seagal in the early 1990s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's nothing really that unique about this movie, and it's 
too long. <laughs> <laughs> this movie fucking went on forever. Unnecessarily so. The movie doesn't end. This movie has like this movie has more endings than fucking Return of the King. This movie has so I've never seen this before. This movie has so many endings that the audience <laughs> was around when it got to the fifth ending. Because, okay, he kills the bad guys. They're dead. You think the movie's about over? No, it's not. He goes to Moscow to kill the head of the snake. So he kills another guy. And then he walks away. You think it's over? No, no. it's not. Chloe Moretz finds him on the street. They talk for a bit. There's a wide shot of him walking back to his apartment with groceries, which usually signals that end credits are about to happen. No, it cuts to him on a beach looking out over the ocean. Is it going to end there? No. It then cuts to him sitting at a laptop, looking at a computer in the restaurant, writing down, Does basically he's taking out Craigslist He's taking ads. out Craigslist <laughs> hit ass. <laughs> yeah. And then, then, I believe then, it's finally then when it ended. When it it's about five fucking endings at the least. Around when it got to ending four, the audience, we were still seated, but the audience was all standing up. <laughs> and half of them were right in the front area where the exit is, waiting patiently for this movie to end. <laughs> I saw I saw one couple just straight up start leaving, which I I'm pretty sure they thought like, all right, well it's probably gonna be the last like five minute wrap up. Yeah. Like after he kills uh I saw them leave after he kills the um the first Russian dude, the dude who's after him with the nail gun. Oh yeah, yeah. Um after he kills that dude with the nail gun. <laughs> Like, that's kind of wrapping up, and I noticed, like, these two, this younger couple, like, just kind of get... They, they were actually the first ones in a, long, <laughs> in a long line of people who thought this movie was over. Like, after that scene. Mm -hmm. And, like, they just straight up left. And I'm watching, I'm like, this movie isn't over. <laughs> <laughs> we still I apparently have, got 20 minutes We got, like, left. 25 minutes. I could tell by the pacing of this fucking thing that we are not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. You were leaning forward. I was leaning forward, like this like uh, come on movie. i just thought you were like really on the edge of your seat no i wasn't <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my is god. he gonna make it is he good is he gonna go to moscow and kill everybody <laughs> he does i sure hope it cuts back to him getting groceries <laughs> um man it's it's like what you said like the the movie isn't necessarily bad but it it, it's a, been done. It needs a severe editing job. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if anything could, in terms of editing, I don't think anything could rise it above generic, but it would at least be better paced. It's not a very well-paced movie. No, it's not. It's not. The beginning, I was fine with, because it's setting up... It, it's taking its time to kind of set up his character and even his relationship with some of his other employees where he's training a a guy to be a security guard couple things one that whole thing felt like it's the lost lost flashback from Hurley that we never saw <laughs> in which Denzel trains him to be a security guard before he wins the lottery and also why is this man being put in charge of a security I guard don't know. <laughs> god i don't know <laughs> It, it so many things could be trimmed in this movie. Uh, the the climatic scene is in the uh, hardware store where there are some pretty good kills. Like it starts out fine. He hangs a guy with barbed wire. He sets a bunch of traps. He blows up shit in the microwave. There are some decent kills. It feels like it goes on for at the least a half an hour which should be the final action scene in the movie, and it feels like its own movie. Yeah. It feels like I've, I'm suddenly watching a Die Hard clone where it takes place in a hardware store. This is an action scene that feels like it has three acts. <laughs> it's like when it got to like minute 20, I'm like, 
Just kill the guy already. Fucking Christ. I've been watching you walk around this dark hardware store for a half hour. I thought this scene was only going to be like 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes tops. Apparently, we got 45 minutes of this movie Jesus left. Christ. Well, you were bringing up when we were walking out, like, uh, I don't understand why he's killing all these people. Like, I don't, I, <laughs> like, I really stopped understanding his motivation a long ass time into this movie. Cause like what gets him back into his kill mood, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, is when his Russian prostitute friend gets the unholy shit beat out of her, uh, because she's trying to get out of the game. Which I mean, I can understand. Yeah, all right. Uh -huh. You know, that's your that's your new friend. You know, that's, yeah, that ain't right. Go set it right. Mm. I, I get that. I respect that. And he does it. And he does it actually quite well. That's the first. <laughs> yeah. That's the first fight scene. That's the first kill scene. Mm -hmm. Is is uh, when he goes into the office and he gives them like ninety eight hundred dollars to buy your freedom, and they yeah. laugh at him and talk shit. Then he. Just goes to leave and he shuts the door and he locks it and he does it like this quick inventory. He's like, all right, 16 seconds. And in 16 seconds, he kills like six, seven yeah. people. That was actually kind of cool. It was. That was cool. And that was it for me. Like that, <laughs> uh, that was that was the greatest part of this whole fucking movie. <laughs> there was some, I liked a, a few things here and there. I liked when he in like a millisecond snatch the gun out of the guy's hand. That was cool it. though. Yeah. That? I, I enjoyed that. I, I, I like because Denzel's pretty cool. Denzel like, is Denzel. Like, he's Denzel. I, he's he's Denzel. totally Denzel. I love Denzel. Yeah. He's he's very much Denzel. I, I will not knock his performance. He was Denzel. I did quite like the bad guy. I actually Which thought one? the 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 Nikolai. Yeah, dude? yeah, I liked him a lot too. I thought he was a pretty cool villain. Mm -hmm. Like he is this sociopathic Russian James Bond kind of yeah, like very, he's pretty cool. He's very cold. he's very suave, very 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 cold. Yeah, but he has a lot of charm about him. In any other movie, you'd kind of see a movie from his point of view where he's the hero because he's kind of like the Russian equivalent of like the Wolf from Pulp Fiction. Kind of, yeah. he even uses literally some of those same lines as the Wolf from Pulp Fiction. Like, I'm not here to say please. I'm here to tell you what to do. And things like that. You could picture in any other story, this guy might be, like, the hero if the movie was written by, like, Luc Besson or something like that. Like, it's... I liked this guy. The guy was good. The guy was intimidating. It's funny, because it's two weekends in a row for me where I've seen a couple movies where the villains are pretty great. I mean... Walk Among the Tombstones, far better fucking movie than this, but not only did that also have great villains, but it, the one of the villains in Walk Among the Tombstones was the corrupt Boston cop from Oh, this was movie. it really? Yeah. yeah oh, he, I didn't know that. He plays this sick fucking Walk Among the Tombstones. That's You want an R-rated action thriller, see that. This, I've really kind of said most of what I can... <laughs> you were going to sleep and putting your head on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta finish this up, buddy. All right, I'll, I'll handle this. So anyway... <laughs> there was one time... I gotta go off on a tangent real quick. When I went to go see... Um, <laughs> when I went to go see... Uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I went to go see it by myself, and a couple times when I've seen stuff by myself, Jillian has still like been in the car with me just so I could rant to somebody about it. Like she was in the car with me when I saw Blended, but she didn't go see Blended. <laughs> so I, before I went to go see Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, I said to Jillian, like, would you mind being in the car with me so I can again, so I can have someone to talk to? She's like, yeah, that's fine. So I take the car back. And you, I could tell that she had, like, just woken up from a nap, so she put her sunglasses on. It's one in the morning. <laughs> we go downstairs. We got, like, maybe ten seconds into this, and she just, like, just sat there and went in the corner and... Like that, and I'm sitting there, like... Jilly, go back to sleep. <laughs> go upstairs and go back to sleep. It's fine. <laughs> I appreciate the... Effort? <laughs> I didn't know that we could go to sleep during these reviews. I didn't know that was an option. I would have done that a while ago. 
I've almost been asleep a couple of the times when I would There's sit in the back seat. There's been a couple of yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've, I haven't really sat in the back seat in these reviews in a while. You've never done one where, like, in the dead ass of winter, where, like, a couple people are in front talking about it and, like, no, I'm usually, a person I'm and usually the one up front <laughs> who has to talk about it. I don't get to pull the letty and hide behind the bag I've and done not that be before. in it. I've done that before. Sometimes it gets disturbing. Like, I was back there and had to remain silent when they're reviewing 12 Years a Slave. <laughs> like, fucking Christ, you guys. You're giving me fucking nightmares. <laughs> Somebody up there make a joke. It's getting really sad back here. I so regret. I should have at some point during that review, I should have just, like, maybe 20 minutes into it, just been like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would have been really funny. <laughs> That would have been really good. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm forgetting anything about this movie. Uh, well, let's see. All right. What else? So the movie is Denzel befriends a prostitute, a Russian prostitute. Russian prostitute gets crap beat out of her. Denzel then beats up the the people, her pimps, her pimp rather. And then that leads to the Russian mob getting involved, which leads to him killing them all. Yeah, we've pretty much gone through the whole movie. Which leads to him in Russia, Moscow. Yeah. Killing the main guy. Uh-huh. Cuz. Cuz. <laughs> Did we... That's did it. We like, need we that? Did, I mean, did we? We really didn't. And not only that, but man, that's a big slap in the face to the to the Russian special forces. Uh, uh, I'm gonna butcher that. Spec Specknack? Spe Specter? No. <laughs> God damn it, Brad. <laughs> this isn't Mass Effect. <laughs> um. No, uh, Sp Spetnaz. Spetnaz? Mm. That's, well, the Russian special forces, sp special forces, Spetnaz, or something along those yeah. lines. I don't know a lot about them, but what I understand from, uh, like, watching documentaries and shit about military kind <clears throat> of stuff, that mm. Spetnaz special forces... Just nothing to fuck with. <laughs> like, not if you're 60 year old Denzel. And apparently, 60 year old Denzel has no goddamn <laughs> problem with him. But in reality, <laughs> as far as like you know, different countries' special forces go, mm -hmm. they they have a lot of respect throughout the entire globe because mm -hmm. there are some hardcore motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> in order oh, in is. order to be Spetnaz, mm -hmm. or however you pronounce I'm probably butchering that, um, but in order to do it, like, they beat the crap out of you, severe psycho... And, like, not our... Not by our standards, because we have all of our shits in the media and blah, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. Our military, when they do do their shit, has to keep it really closed doors. Mm. Russia ain't got that problem. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, nope. We're going to treat you like pieces of shit. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> and so, like, and, and they're just, they're highly regarded, extremely skilled individuals. Mm -hmm. And all of them kind of were spitting ass, at least the... The guards who were guarding the pimps and whatnot mm. were, you could see the, the tattoos, the the, mm. the designs, you know. <sighs> if you get it wrong, there'll be some commenters like, look, Jig, I'm most disappointed in what you said. <laughs> Fuck you, Russian dude, I'm trying to stand up for you. Be dis-a-fucking-pointed all you want. I hope they put it like that, like a Russian villain in a <laughs> movie who is commenting on my site. Yep. <laughs> you potato-eating fuck, you leave me alone. What an idiot, he used his real name. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and, like, and I also kind of understand Denzel's thing, because, I, I don't know, I probably would have tried to take on the Russian mob if the mm. Russian prostitute was hot enough, because, I don't know, Russian women are really pretty. <laughs> not only they're really pretty, like that accent's super sexy. Oh right? yeah. Uh-huh. When it's not there was done one... when it's not done by an American. That one actual Russian actress yeah, she that they was... had her friend, she was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, she 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 had an accent. Yeah. Um, like a very thick you could tell she was Russian. 
Well, I gotta give it to the uh, the cop, the corrupt cop. He's the only one in the movie who attempted a Boston, a Boston accent. Boston accent, which was a really bad Boston accent. <laughs> it wasn't that the That was best. a really bad Boston accent. It wasn't accent. the best. This movie, if it weren't for that guy, I wouldn't have <laughs> I really wouldn't have known, known they were from Boston. Yeah, like, this movie's about as... <laughs> fuck. This movie's about as Boston as the Yankees. <laughs> like, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if that's an insult. Or not. <laughs> I hope it is. Sports joke for Irving. S sports, <laughs> sports jokes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Irving will like that one. <laughs> As a brave sport. Or he won't. I don't fucking know. I don't know how those rival league shit works. <laughs> the Yankees in Boston are like Cubs and Cardinals. Yeah, they don't like each other. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why. Because sports. Because sports is why. But yeah, if it weren't for that guy's accent, I, and a couple of times couple. when you could see like a banner in the background that said Boston. <clears throat> Boston. <laughs> Hell, the trailer, or the preview we got for Wahlburgers in front of it was more Man, Boston. Yeah, that was a <laughs> lot more Boston than that. <laughs> Wahlburgers. I don't understand the need for Mark Wahlberg at this point in his career to have a reality TV show called Wahlburgers where they're running a burger joint. <laughs> I don't know. I'm telling you, dude. Pan Jakes. <laughs> it's it's going to be a thing. We're not Pancake doing pan stand. <laughs> Pancake stand. <laughs> is that is that what Pan Jakes is? Yeah, it's a, it's pan a pancake. It's a pancake stand, and like we'll go to like uh, the like kind of center court area around like downtown Springfield, where there's the wall of stores and where they usually put Santa Claus and shit. <laughs> It'll be Santa Claus. And then you mean off of the old state capital where all the homeless people hang out? I, I hear they really like pancakes. I'm sure they fucking do, Brad. They're homeless. How are they going to pay for my pancakes? Well, Pancakes don't come cheap, with Brad. The, with the spare change that they get from the drunks at night from panhandling, they'll spend it the next day on pan on fresh pancakes. Uh, pancakes. <laughs> pancakes. <laughs> we're going to sell this thing. We need to fucking sell it, all right? Everything in there is called a pancake. You want a double pancake? Triple pancake? <laughs> pancake with a side of eggs? <laughs> How about some blueberry pancakes? <laughs> Why am I saying this? It's making me mad that I'm saying it. <laughs> you don't like pancakes? I like pancakes, Brad. I like pancakes just fine. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, pancakes. I just don't want to start a reality show called Pancakes, where I'm selling flapjacks out of a fucking stand in downtown Springfield. You get to wear a chef's hat. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. No! <laughs> <laughs> Although well, that the, would be well, a lot of well, fun. What matters most is that you thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it for the chef's hat, Brad. <laughs> you see, this movie is... We're talking about pancake stands. Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> this movie was just boring. I mean, it's generic. It was... Like, it's it wasn't necessarily bad. Like what you said, the choreography was fine. Denzel's Denzel. He was good. The villain was really good. Mm -hmm. um, there was good acting. It was. It needed about forty minutes. Yeah, cut out it, of the a, it needed. Thing. It either needed better pacing to justify being two hours long, or needed to be cut to at least make it. A, it was at least short, like, mediocre. It was at least mediocre. like two hours and ten minutes long. Yeah, like it was twelve thirty when we got out of the theater. Yeah, and the movie started at ten. Ten. The movie started at ten o'clock, <laughs> and like I mean, <laughs> I mean the last action movie we went to go see was Expendables three, and I mean this was better than that. If the, anything, I could tell what the fuck was going on in the goddamn. Oh, I could, movie. At least I could follow this story arc. Yeah. <laughs> I mean this. Yeah, this this movie I had a story. I follow this arc. one. This one had a story arc. Expendable story was. It didn't have Denzel making callback jokes to his previous fucking movies. <laughs> you hitting that Russian girl? That's my friend. That makes me feel like a man on fire. <laughs> Training day is over. Training day is over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. We kind of covered the movie. There we got... I'm in my underwear. I call them my pelican briefs. 
<laughs> I had one more in me. One more. I had to dig deep for it. I had to go back to the early 90s when the Pelican Brief was a thing. Man! <laughs> Man! <laughs> <laughs> this movie is not Denzel Washington in his glory days. <laughs> Fucking pelican. <laughs> um, something, 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 Mo Better Blues. <laughs> Got a stretch on that one, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I had to roll out my Spike Lee joint for that one. <laughs> Hells yeah. Fuck. I, do you have any final thoughts on this? When's Dumb and Dumber 2 coming out? November. November's gonna be a magical month. It's gonna be a magical month because we got, we got Dumb and Dumber 2, Thanksgiving a second to Dumb and Dumber 2. <laughs> I'm so excited. They have a poster for it in there now. It's them and it's the dogmobile. It's just them and the dogmobile, that's it. They're, I'm they're excited they got their dogmobile back. Hell yeah! I didn't know how they were gonna do that. They got the shagun wagon back. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm so excited. I he sold it for a moped. <laughs> Just when I think you couldn't be any dumber, you go and totally redeem yourself. I can get seven miles to the gallon on this hog. <laughs> <laughs> Brian gave a shit for wanting to go see that. <laughs> my now. hands are cold. Or are they here? You yeah, can have one of my spare gloves. gloves. <laughs> he brought extra gloves. This whole time? Yeah. yeah. We're in the we're mountains. We're in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah, tell you where we're going to go, Harry. Someplace warm. <laughs> like, like Aspen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lloyd. Aspen it is. <laughs> Yeah, Brian was giving a shit. Brian, the, a couple a week or so ago, just looks at me and goes, you two are the only motherfuckers looking forward to that. And I'm standing there like, you are another person who called dibs on Let's Be Cops. You called dibs on the interview. The movie where Seth Rogen shoves something up his ass. Okay. <laughs> so again... We're calling dibs on Let's Be Cops, a stupid shenanigan movie where two fucking assholes are committing a felony for an hour and a half to two hours. Oh, and then when they get out, both Sarah and Dave are, mm, it wasn't any good. You don't motherfucking say. This stupid ass movie called Let's Be Cops, Let's Commit a Felony, it ends up being really dumb. And now you're going to get Give us shit. You're going to give us shit because we are excited for Dumb and Dumber 2. Yes. When I can't say Sarah because she's never seen the movie. But I'm willing to bet. I know. I fucking know. Dave liked it. I know this for a fact. <laughs> Prick. Brian, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm willing to bet when Brian saw that, he fucking loved it. I don't know what's going on with this hipster <laughs> cynicism bullshit that's been happening with our friends, but you need to cut the shit out, <laughs> the sudden, all right? The sudden, the dumb, and sudden dumber dumb and dumber dumb hate <laughs> that's been happening. That movie can't be dumb. You know what else is going to be dumb? Let's be fucking cops! You know what else is going to be dumb? Seth Rogen shoving something up his ass. Oh, that looks great. They go to North Korea because Kim Jong-un is a fan of their stupid ass interview show? <laughs> oh, good. That will only end pleasantly. You fucking gotta be kidding me. You got you call fucking you goddamn cynical fucks. What the hell happened? We don't have what the hell happened? We don't have to worry about the interview though. That comes out on Christmas when apparently you and I Oh yeah, like you and I have like twelve kids different kids night. movies to see. Annie Paddington Paddington Oh my god, I'm not looking forward to Paddington. It looks <laughs> like Annie Paddington, there's another one uh, and then I think that I mean this isn't a kids movie, but that Angelina Jolie is here to ruin your Christmas movie, the the war movie. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah. That one actually actually it looks fine. But. It does. <laughs> I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, there's like four or five movies, something like that, have yeah, coming out fuck. on Christmas. We got there's like a lot. We got several fucking. Tri we got a one in front of uh, in front of this movie that wasn't any of those three that we just mentioned. It was. Uh, Ah, fuck. 
Oh, that, that was the one I was trying to remember because I didn't know that one was on Christmas. Yeah, it it is, and there was there was something else that we there was something else that we got at uh, some other trailer we got tonight. Okay, what do we we got the Michael Mann movie, the mm -hmm. Chris Hemsworth that that looks good. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. The Jeremy Renner one, um, Kill the Messenger that looks. Oh good. yeah yeah yeah. Uh, the Downey one comes out like in a couple of weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fury, we got Fury. We got Fury. Maybe that comes out. Is that Fury on Christmas? Uh, Around I Christmas? Can't, I can't, <laughs> that's gotta be like awkward in the household of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie are releasing their movies on the same day. <laughs> I don't think it's. I don't think it's. Fury, I don't know. Uh, but I can't remember what other trailers that we got in front of this. Um. No, I. My, I mean, my in terms of uh, the Equalizer. I can't say if you've liked the show what you'll think of this movie, but you've never seen the show. Yeah, but as it is, um, I'm willing to bet if you're a fan of the show, you're probably not going to like the movie. I, 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 I mean, it. again, like I'm with you, I've never seen the TV show The Equalizer. I've never met anyone who has actively said, "Hey, I'm a big fan of the." 80s TV show Equalizer. Yeah, my folks never watched it. Yeah, so, like, I, I don't know. I'm willing to bet there's fans out there of the show. Yeah. If you happen to be one, I am going to guess that this movie is not that TV show Judging whatsoever. from the message boards about this movie, no. Probably not. I, I, I doubt it. Uh, so if you're a fan of the 80s show, kudos on you, but don't don't go see this, because I would say it's probably going to make you upset. I would say it's worth a rental. I'd say it's worth a rental. When when I was watching this movie, yeah. part of me was like, I don't know, maybe like matinee or something like that if you see it for like five bucks. But there's no reason you need there to really see this isn't. in the theater. Like, no. It's too long. It doesn't end. And at least if you're renting it, because sure, a rental, fine. Yeah. At least if you're renting it, you can pause it every now and then. You can talk during it or whatever. It it could be like a rainy Friday night movie or something like that. If you order some fucking pizza or some Chinese food and watch and watch this, sure, why not? Mm. That's <laughs> that's all I got about it. I got nothing else. Um, I can't well, wait. one more thing. I just it, want November to show up. It was me too. Me, I'm way ahead of you. Uh, me too. I just want November to get here. Um, it what? Okay, one more thing about it. It, like, it wasn't nice seeing Bill Pullman in something else. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I completely <laughs> forgot Bill Pullman was in here until it, <laughs> yeah. he plays Madam Secretary's husband. I don't know I what that think, lady is. Yeah. I don't know what she, like, there was a blurry picture of, like, a Photoshop blurry picture yeah. of her and President Bush. The other one had her and Clinton, Clinton in front of it. Yeah, so. I saw that so one. Apparently so apparently she's very important. Uh, Secretary of something i don't know secretary of giving denzel permission giving denzel kill. permission to kill and yeah uh, and bill pullman bill pullman is like her husband who is oh, in dude, like i could have sworn you scenes. were the president right bro. what the fuck what the fuck that should what be happened? photoshopped in the background hey, oh my god that would have been great <laughs> apparently this movie is in the same continuity as independence day and boston is the only city that didn't get hit <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, man, not even the aliens wanted to deal with Boston. <laughs> Can't blame them. <laughs> well, love you, Boston. <laughs> I don't love you. I don't know anyone. Do I know anyone from Boston? I don't think I've I met a couple of people Boston. from Boston. I wasn't a fan. <laughs> and they, of course, represent the entire city. So sorry, Boston. Well, I like uh, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. I guess that means I like Boston. I guess that means you like Boston. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what's next week. is uh, Next All week right. is Gone Girl. Yeah. Uh, Gone Girl and Annabelle. Yeah, those are both not me. Um, All right. I'll probably be at both of them. Maybe. I don't, it depends on how tired I am that day, because I think Gone Girl is like a two-and-a-half-hour movie. Ooh. But at the same time, it's, it's like, okay, I really want to be at the David Fincher movie. But I should also probably be at Annabelle, because I saw The Conjuring. And it's also a horror movie, and I'm usually at the horror movie, so I'll probably end up being at both of them again. <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> See ya.